Welcome to Garage Hammer Tactics. This is Sean and today I'd like to talk to you about chaplains, more specifically Blood Angel chaplains. So normally when I hear chaplains, it makes me think of word bearers as they uh, preach the word and all that. But in my opinion, Blood Angels chaplains are by far the best. The way I kit out my chaplain is obviously with a jump pack to fill that compulsory spot with their revelation for the blood angels. I give them a refractor field to give them a five up involve save, artist for armor for a two up save, mount of bombs to take on any armor, a blade of perdition which hits at initiative AP2 and causes two wounds but they don't roll over. I'll explain about that later on. And obviously you got the Cronius which I get out as a paramour as you can see. The Blade of Perdition is two-handed, so you're not getting any bonuses from two combat weapons. So the most he's going to get is four attacks on a charge, which is plenty. So running Day of Revelation, all jump units are coming in first turn. So this chaplain's coming in first turn by a deep strike. And on the game turn he arrives, he has a five-up cover save. Obviously, I've given him a refract field, but his unit around him are also getting that five-up cover save. On the charge, Chaplin will get plus one initiative, taking him up to initiative six. So he's beating a lot of characters to hit first in combat and hit in with his Blade of Edition, which is AP2 at initiative. It's two handed, so you don't get any bonuses for having two combat weapons, but you are getting four attacks on the charge. That's hitting against fours against other characters, yes, but not forgetting he's a Chaplin, so you're re-rolling all those fours. For any failed ones. Blood Angels get the plus one to wound. So you'll be wounded on freeze with this. And it's every wound cause causes two wounds but doesn't carry over. So let me give you some examples how that works. So you're fighting Terminators, just standard Legion one wounded Terminators. And you cause three wounds with the Blade of Dip Perdition. Each Terminator needs to roll separately two invol saves to survive a hit from a blade of perdition fails one he's dead fails two he's dead doesn't roll over but it just doubles the chance of them failing that invol so it's more reliably killing terminators this obviously works against characters in a similar way but if they've got three wounds then those two wounds are causing two wounds if they fail both obviously when that character loses its final wound any remaining wounds are not carried over unless it's additional hits in the sense of if he's on one wound left and he's saving two but fails both that doesn't roll over but then you've still got other hits going against the squad they obviously carry over as normal so why do i think that blood angel chaplains are the best out of any other legion it's got to be the blade of addition that makes it for me just that ap2 at initiative with their re revelation that initiative is six it's insanely quick obviously the chaplain has massive boost in any blood angel army just purely down to the fact that most blood angel armies are close combat orientated down to the fact that their legion ability is plus one to wound and their right of war gives them plus one initiative on the charge so all your assault marines will be hitting the enemy first so that obviously uh reduces the hits that you're getting back. That's if you leave any alive, that is. Chaplain's obviously a benefit to any close combat army because you get all those re-roll hits on the first turn of combat, charged or charging. So not only are you getting a bit of a combat beast with four attacks on a charge and just reliably killing Terminators, even beating other characters just purely because he's hitting first at initiative six. You're also getting the fact that he buffs your army in the sense of what unit he's attached to, he makes him fearless. He causes fear, a lot of people forget about that, that when you're charging with a chaplain, the unit that you're facing, if they're not immune to fear or fearless themselves, they need to be taking fear tests, which can swing a combat very one-sided when you're soon hitting them on freeze with the re-rolls from the chaplain that he gives. The thing I love about chaplains as well is that they work on Primarchs. So you put him in with your Primarch and the Primark is re-rolling every to hit roll, not just it's probably stock standard one for having a weapon master crafted. 
altogether this chaplain's coming in at 150 points not only is an absolute combat monster for reliably taking out terminators as i said before but also just for the pure buffs of re-rolling all the hits that also affects your primarch sanguinius obviously that works with any legion but i think that what gives him the trump at being the best chaplain is the fact that he's got the blade of addition and he's hitting at initiative six on the charge and he should wipe any other character the chaplain that you see here is my own little kit bash conversion call it what you want he's just combined with the chaplain that you get in the battle of kalf box set and he's got the backpack from the sanguinary guard as well as the sword and it's just a bit of chopping and green stuff in to make it all look neat what i wanted to do is use the reaver head from the 40k primaris reavers i know that's heresy to a lot of you but i think the school mask on the reavers is very fitting for a chaplain so that's a good one to use for anyone that's thinking of a head swap for a chaplain i like to paint all my jump packs with a little bit of a glow effect which makes it look like they're really hot and they're being used lots obviously is uh, cape is flame retardant if you have any ideas of what legion you think is the best chaplain let us know in the comments or we'll have a discussion about it if you like what you see in here hit the like hit the subscribe we've got more coming from sam and tom about their specific legions and what they think their strong points are we'll be also showing off our legion soon because everyone likes to show off their painted stuff it's what the hobby's all about. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.